Good morning everyone. Ira Feuerstein with Simple Signal. Thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, it's, uh, March 6 is our first of our Simple Signal sales. We'll start doing these every month uh, going forward, trying to bring you know, new topics to our agent community, new information, new ways of selling, and really getting in there and doing some live demos of the stuff that we're actually selling on a daily basis. We think it's going to be very helpful to help drive your business to, uh, to new heights. So um, I've got everyone in mute mode. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go through a few um, slides here, review of kind of how the session is going to go. Towards the end, we'll open it up for Q&A. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to uh, a Q&A mode. If you, if you want to ask a question, you can hit star 6 on your phone to unmute your phone, and that will allow you to ask your question, and then star 6 mutes yourself again. So once we get to that Q&A portion, feel free, guys, to ask uh, any questions that you'd like, and we'll go ahead and get started. So some of you are agents. Some of you are looking to be agents. Some of you have been agents a long time. We have a good, diverse cross-section of people here. So I wanted to take a quick moment just to do an overview of Simple Signal. This will help even our seasoned agents uh, when you're out there talking to customers. So we were founded in 2004. Uh, we've been around you know, eight years now. And uh, you know, in eight years in the, in the hosted VoIP world is really a dinosaur. I mean, we were, we were out there ahead of the curve for sure. We've always been ahead of the curve. Our corporate office is located in Dana Point, California, beautiful location. And then uh, Network Operations Center is over in Denver, Colorado. We manage over 40,000 endpoints uh, worldwide. That's a combination of hosted seats and SIP trunks. And at the end of the day, um, we have really morphed from a telephony company at the very beginning into more of a hosted cloud and managed services provider. And we're going to show you some of those things today. Uh, Things that you need to realize about us is that we are very forward thinking. I mean, I think if, you know, I've been around the telecom world for many years, as of most of you, and I think, you know, we could all say that if you look at, you know, who we would look at as our competitors, you'll see that we really are ahead of the curve on many, many things. I mean, we figured out how to do the dependable dial tone thing a long time ago. And now we're on to other uh, things, more unifying your, commu your business's communication and collaboration. So you know, that means like embedding other things into the voice to make voice even better. You know, things like integration to your CRM or uh, you know, call recording and be able to record calls or you know, things like what, the tool we're using today, which we're rolling out in two weeks. This is our new simple meetup tool. It's a complete web collaboration tool that integrates with your phone. So we're very forward thinking. Um, and at the end of the day, we are a full communications and collaboration service provider. We don't want to go into clients selling on just price. That's just not who we are. Who we are is a company that goes in and sells on what does a customer need, need, what don't they know they need, and then come up with a solution bolting on all our different pieces to give them that solution. And uh, you know, if you, you know, a lot of our slides you'll see have this concept of the Sherpa. The Sherpa is a guy like when you climb a big mountain, he carries all your he does all the heavy lifting and carries all your packs and all your sleeping bags and all that stuff to the top of the mountain. We want to be your Sherpa to help bring your customers to the cloud. Uh, we want to do all the heavy lifting, uh, allow them to run their businesses, to do um, the things that, they, that make them money. Uh, managing their phone system and their communications is not making them money generally. So we want to be able and be the Sherpa to the cloud. So the channel team, it's really, uh, it's really more fierce, guys, since I've come on board. I've been here, you know, eight months now. And, uh, you know, the channel team is Michael Sterl. He's the kind of the bedrock of the team, along with Jeff Sexton. These two guys know more than just about anyone in the company. Awesome, awesome guys to have on the team. We've got Scott Davidson. He's out of Virginia. We've got Shannon, brand new team member out of uh, Santa Barbara, California. And we've got myself uh, here in Phoenix, Arizona. So the thing I want everyone to understand is that we are a team. We are truly a team. We get each other's backs. We help each other uh, all the time. So if there are things that you guys need that, that you know, need to move fast and maybe you know, I'm not available, 
you know, Jeff can certainly help out. Or if Michael's your guy normally and he's busy or on a plane, you know, Scott can help out. We're here as a team to help drive your business no matter what it takes. And uh, we really, really embrace that team concept, and I think it's important that you all understand that, that you don't just have a single point at the point of reference at the company that you can deal with. You can you know, deal with anybody. So let's talk about today's agenda. So we thought a great way to start the webinar series would be doing an introduction to Broadsoft, because we know a lot of our partners um, haven't used Broadsoft before, or they haven't even seen what it looks like and how easy it is for a customer to manage their own phone system. So Jeff, who is a sales guy by the way, but he just got certified as a certified Broadsoft um, person through the Broadsoft University. A lot of engineers haven't even done that yet. So Jeff really took the bull by the horns, got certified in Broadsoft. So he's going to walk you through the interface today on how Broadsoft works, how easy it is from an administrative and from a user perspective uh, to implement and make changes to your phone system. Then we're going to swing it back to me. I'm going to show you our new Simple Signal Unity application. Unity is our new presence management application that I think is going to blow you away. I mean, we've got a probably a 90% uptake on customers that we let demo this for two weeks. Um, they want to keep it. And then we're going to open it up to some Q&A. So I'm going to go ahead and move, over, move my screen over to Jeff. Jeff, if you want to unmute your phone, I'm going to give you control here. Very cool. Thank you, Ira. Can you see my screen? Let me know when you can. Should be coming up here momentarily. Yeah, Jeff, I see it. You got the Simple Signal uh, website up, correct? All right, excellent. Um, so guys, thank you very much for joining the call. Um, so I'm here on the Simple Signal homepage, and I'm going to go through a little bit of the Broadsoft interface and show you guys exactly how to navigate the system from a user level, and then I'll back up a little bit and show you from more of an administrator perspective. So if you guys are taking care of your customers, if you want to turn things on or off for them, um, I'll show you how to get into that as well as your phone yourself and your customer's phone and how they can use it themselves. Um, so from here you can see I can go right here into this top right corner to our login screen. And from here I have my control center on the Simple Signal website. So I can go ahead and look up my backup and storage, see my information there. I can go and see my call recording portal and see the recorded calls that I have on the system. Or I can report a trouble ticket if I have something that I would like to have altered by our support team. This is something that I don't really want to take the time to go into the portal and fix myself. Our 24 by 7 support team is here in Denver, more than happy to make any changes to the system that you guys wish. Um, but I'm going to click on the telephony management section over here. Uh, so this will bring us into the Broadsoft portal, and I'll go ahead and log in. Um, now I'll log in here from, I see you're, I'm on a system level. It's going to be a little bit of a different field than what you guys see. Uh, but going into the user side of things, uh, I'll log into my personal phone that I'm talking to you on right now. Uh, so you can see here I've logged into the user side, and you can tell where I am exactly by seeing that 10-digit number in front of you. So you are never lost in the system. You can always see exactly where you are, the company and the user set. Now from here, and this is the phone that I'm speaking to you on right now, I can go ahead and set any time or holiday schedules. So if I'm taking time off, I'm taking vacation, I can go ahead and set my phone to route a different way on a specific day. I can also you know, set a different route during Thanksgiving, uh, during the new year, uh, than my typical day to day here in March. Uh, all incoming call control will be controlled here. Um, so going into incoming calls, I can go ahead and set any kind of call forward. So if I'm going to go on vacation, if I want to forward calls uh, when I'm out at a meeting to a coworker, I can go here and call forward always and simply click on call forward always and be able to apply a new phone number to forward all calls to at all times. Now if you ever have questions on what a specific feature does, that's what we're all here for. Feel free to email quote at simplesignal.com or sherpa at simplesignal.com. Uh, or if you're in this portal, you can always go up into this help section. And this help section will have a detailed report on what specific feature you're looking at and what exactly it does. So there's a lot of verbiage here. I won't go into this uh, during this call. Uh, but that's always there as a reference if you ever need that. And that's for everything that I'm showing you today. Every feature has a specific help section. 
Now down here, um, all incoming calls, again, that's where I'm in in the system. So I can turn off anything incoming call wise. So I can go in here. Our most popular features that you guys more than know um, is going to be simultaneous ring, which is located here on the premium side. The left side is going to be your standard feature set. The right side is going to be your premium feature set within this portal. So going into simultaneous ring, I can set many different devices. I have four of them set up here to ring at the same time. I currently only have one of them on. So you can go ahead and turn your home phone on or off if you're going to work from home for the day. You can turn your cell phone on or off. You might not want it to be on Sunday afternoon when football games are playing, so you can turn it off. Um, or like I do, I have this answer confirmation in here. Answer confirmation saves me on a weekend basis every weekend. Call comes into my cell phone. I'll answer cell. I'll have an answer confirmation. Please press a key to accept this call. Bam, I know exactly at that very moment, this is a work call. This isn't anybody calling my cell phone directly. I need to answer this in a professional work manner. And if I don't feel like doing that, if I don't feel like I'm in front of a computer that I can help out you know, this, this caller coming into me, then I can simply not answer that call. The call is going to continue on its work route, go to my work voicemail, go to my work hunt group, go to the other people that would generally go on a hunt pa pattern during the weekend for me and my customer can be, uh, get the answer that they need going through uh, and getting somebody that's actually going to be helping them out. So that answer confirmation is critical uh, for your after hours if you're going to have that simultaneous ring on. Moving on from this incoming call section, I'll go down a queue and go into outgoing calls. So again, uh, simple outgoing uh, pattern here. So I can go ahead and see all my one-digit speed dials. So I have them set up here. You can also set your two-digit speed dials. So here I have a couple of these guys set up as well. Uh, from here, I can go into call control. Um, Broadworks Anywhere is a great feature that you guys should be telling about all of your clients. Broadworks Anywhere is going to be similar to Simultaneous Ring, but it's going to have both direction functionality. So if you're on the golf course, if, if you're out in the town, you want to make a call outbound to your client and show that you're working, you can use Broadworks Anywhere, two-stage dial, and your caller ID is going to read from the office even though you're on the golf course. You're always working. People don't have any idea other than they can hear the, the swing of the golf clubs around you that you're currently not sitting in office diligently working and getting jobs done for your clients. So here's my home phone. I have my home phone in here. I also have a cell phone in here for Broadworks Anywhere. Uh, so I can turn these devices on or off as I choose to ring these devices. So I don't have to have five phones ringing at the exact same time. I can have one phone where I am, or I can have one phone plus my cell. So if I get up from my desk, my cell is going to ring. I can answer my phone on my cell and not have to run back to the office and grab that call and dive for my phone. I can simply answer it on my cell phone, hello, how you doing? And then I can go over to my work phone, sit down, and press star 11 on my work phone, and that call will flip to my speaker phone. I can put down my cell, get back to work, have my hands free so I can use my computer and be able to talk to my customer. Going into the different uh, applications here, uh, we do have full Outlook integration. So always look for that full call control, click to dial out of your Outlook, be able to make calls from your Outlook as well. Uh, some people who are tied into their Outlook really enjoy that type of functionality. So you can turn on or off simultaneous ring features. You can turn on or off call forwards. Any kind of feature that I've showed you today, you can control that from that uh, Outlook integration as well. It's, a, it's the same thing, but being able to do it in a different format. So if people are more comfortable using their Outlook, they don't want to dial into this portal online, that's fine. They can open up their Outlook. Same way to do it, just working with people and what their workflow looks like, not changing their system entirely, but working with them so they're comfortable with the system. Um, finally, on messaging here, we have two-way fax to email. So make sure that your customers are aware of that. If they don't want to have an old fax machine, they get a fax Friday afternoon and it sits in the hopper and they don't actually know they got the contract until Monday morning. You can go ahead here and have that fax go to their email address. They can get that fax Saturday. They can get that fax Sunday. They can get it after hours and have that real-time information coming into them rather than having to check the fax machine all the time. It's going to come into you. You can get it on your cell phone. You can get it on your home 
uh, computer, wherever you happen to be. Uh, from here you can also change anything on your voicemail. So you can go ahead and, and look at it, uh, be able to change your greetings, be able to change how your voicemail looks and feels, and also have that voicemail go over to your email inbox. So you can check it on your phone, check your voicemail in your email inbox, listen to it, and then if you really want to get fancy, transcri transcribe that rather into text. You can read that on yourself and you can read it on your computer. So if you're driving to work and you're at a stop sign or you're parked, you can go ahead and read that email. I'm not saying that anybody would want to read that while they're actually driving. That would be dangerous. Don't do that. Um, and then utilities, so any new clients, any new customers that you have coming in, they don't know what's going on with the system, you can simply you know, show them feature access codes here. You can show them the directory. You know, it's a big company. It's intimidating. You can go, ahead, go in here and print this out for them um, so they can see, oh, you know, here's our whole system. Here's everybody's extension. Here's everybody's email, their home phone, their cell phone. So you can see exactly here. Here's Scott. Here's his work, his extension, his cell phone, his email address. So as a new employee, I can get a hold of Scott. I know all of his contact information. I can print this out and keep this with me. Or I can just access it online if that's easier for me. Going back one step, you saw that I was in the user. I went through my telephone. I can take it back a step and go to the company. So as a user administrator, if you guys are going to be handling the phone for your customer, you can go in here and you can see uh, what's going on, how many licenses they have available. If they have a new hire, if you have something, you can just assign a new phone or a new phone number to them that they have not, not being used today. Um, you can also change the group level policies. So you can go in here and click on users and see exactly who's in the system, what their information is, their department, their phone number. Um, you can also go back into this resources tab and see exactly how many services they have available. So you can see here we have 42 seats. Uh, we currently have 42 in use and we currently have 62 allowed. So we have room to grow. And you can use that for your customer as well if you have every seat used. If you don't, you know, why don't you have every seat used? Do you need to add any kind of services to any existing employees or any new employees? So you have all this information in front of you to be able to help your client. And then in services, the group level features. Here's your auto attendant bill and here are your call center bills and also your hunt groups. So here's your auto attendant. You'll have different routing for day and night. Uh, so you can have different call patterns depending on if you're during working hours, and you can specify what those hours are. Profile-wise, um, going in here, here are your business, and here are your after hours. And you can see that this is the phone number attached to this specific auto attendant. So I can see the business hours. You can fully customize this yourself, or if you don't want to go into this, our 24-7 support team, more than happy to go in here, alter anything, set it up for you, um, help you with that loading of that personalized greeting. Um, so you can upload that at your choosing as well. And as you see, I just clicked on that. And then finally, on the here, the hunt groups. Hunt groups are really critical to building out a specific call flow for your clients. So when you get in here, uh, make sure you take the time to look at these different hunt groups. Think about the different routes. So in this hunt group, I just clicked on one randomly, but you can see here it's a marketing hunt, and you can see exactly the phone number whenever this number is dialed. It's going to ring at the exact same time, three different people. You can have this ring circularly, you know, so it's a fair distribution across the board. You can have it ring in a regular pattern, which is going to be ringing the top person first, the second person second, and third person third at all times. You can ring them all at the same time. You can weight the distribution. So if you have people that want to take a couple of calls a day, you can set them to take 10% of the calls coming in. And you can have the other people take 40, 50%, split it up uh, however it works for your system. And then simply to add anybody in here, search, and the whole user interface will come up and you can add anybody in the system into these different hunt groups. So you can get really complex and really help out your client with their different call flows. Change it up, daytime and nighttime hours. Change it up uh, Monday when a, a part-time employee works. Have a Monday set that's different from Tuesday. You can help out your employees in, in any of these regards. Um, so at that point, um, I'll bring this back over to Ira, and have him go through a little bit of the Unity toolbar. Uh, then we'll open it up for questions afterwards. Great. Thank you, Jeff. That was, that was awesome. So, guys, you just got a little glimpse 
into all the things that you can do inside of Brawlsbox. It's probably 10%. There's really a lot more that you can do there. Um, the thing to remember is that when we provision customer systems, we pre-provision all of that stuff for them, and then they can go in and tweak it as they need. So it's not like they have to go in and program this, or you guys have to go in and program that. So let's go ahead and show you, show you Unity. We are so excited about this application. Um, I, I cannot tell you. Um, so Jeff, I'm assuming you see my Unity on the screen now? What was that, Aaron? Do you see uh, Unity on the screen right now? I do, yes. You're good to go. Okay, perfect. Awesome. What we've done with Unity, guys, is we have created kind of, kind of an all-in-one toolbar that works for an individual user. So at its core, all that stuff that we just showed you from a user perspective on Broadsoft is available here without having to go and log into a portal. So you're going to be all your, you know, your calls forwarded to a new number. You can just hit call forward and answer, type it in, hit enable, and you're good to go. This is really nice from an IT perspective because then your customers don't have to give people logins to a web portal that they forget all the time. So again, all those kind of basic settings are already here. That's kind of the core of it. But really it goes a lot farther than that. It gives you, A, complete call control of your phone. So you, we're, we've been on this call for you know, 35 minutes or so. I could put the call on hold. I can transfer it. You know, I could transfer it to any number on the planet here just by in a number. If I hit that checkbox, never, I won't do that. But you know, so call control, putting people on hold, conferencing people in, sending them to voicemail automatically, all from a very, very simple interface. Now down below, you'll notice we've got all these people, and some are in, orange, or some are in green, some are in red. If I hover over somebody in red, you'll see who they're on the phone with and how long they've been on that call. So you see Michael's been on the, been on the phone with Uj, our CEO, uh, for he just got on that call. And Scott is probably on the bridge with us right now. And Dave is on a video call on our video bridge right now. So it's a really easy way, no matter where these people are in the country. By the way, Dave is in California, you know, Jeff's in Colorado, uh, Scott's in Virginia. I can monitor their presence at all times from my, uh, from my laptop. The other cool thing it does is it allows you to point and click transfer. So if I wanted to take this call and transfer it over to Danielle, I can just right click and I can hit transfer the call to her extension, transfer it to her voice. If she had a mobile number in here, I could transfer it to her mobile number all from never having to touch my phone. It also allows me to, to say, well, gosh, you know, my, I, need, I really need to talk to Michael. But I get, I don't know about you guys, I get like, you know, 200 emails a day and probably 20 phone calls a day. I forget. So I could right click on Michael and I can say, call his extension when he becomes available. Now, when he's done with that call with Uj, our CTO, 20 minutes, an hour, two hours, at the end of the day, whenever it happens, I'll get a pop-up message on my screen that says, hey, Michael's off his call right now. Do you want to call him? Just an awesome, easy, easy system. This also pulls in all your directories, both your Broadsoft directory as well as your Outlook directory. So no need to go to Outlook anymore to search for, for uh, names and phone numbers. It pulls it all into this tool. I can do a quick search. I can you know, search for Dave Gilbert, and there's all the numbers I have in my uh, Unity and Outlook for Dave. It also brings in all my uh, call logs, my misreceived dialed calls. So everything's here. I can say, oh man, I, I missed a call from uh, Connectrix here yesterday. I better call them. I can right click and I can call the number right from here. It puts my phone on speaker dials the call, cues them up. And then the last thing it does, which is pretty awesome, is it allows you to set statuses. So you can set different statuses so when people hover over you, they know what you're doing right now. So you can, and you can set custom statuses up, like I'm in a meeting, I'm at a doctor's appointment, whatever you want. 
And it's a nice way of giving people added presence. Now, the next step of this, guys, it's not quite there yet, hopefully towards the end of the year, is to do a full integration of this to your Outlook calendar. That way, um, your calendar will be read automatically, and when you come back to this user status screen, if I was on this call, I can just go right above it, and it will say I'm in a meeting or I'm on the webinar. Um, and then, the, you know, actually I forgot one other thing I want to tell you. This also has an IM client built in. So you see Jeff just turned on his IM. He's got a little uh, mail icon on his shoulder. So this is an internal IM client. So no need to have Google Talk or Yahoo Messenger where people can be chatting with people all over the world. This is internal. So I'll just send Jeff a, a quick IM, and uh, he'll he ping, ping me back right away, all internal. So it's presence, it's call control, it's uh, IM, it's you know, uh, broad soft settings all in one. Very, 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 very cool product and very inexpensive. And what we do with our clients um, is we give them this with a 14-day trial. At the end of the 14 days, they can decide if they want to keep it or not. And if they do, it's like a couple bucks a month. It's pretty, pretty inexpensive, but it's got like a 90% uptake on it, which is uh, about as good as you can get you know, with, uh, with an add-on. So again, it, it all rolls back into making voice better. We're making voice better. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put in Q&A mode here. If you guys would like Okay, it should not let me do that. Let me try this. The conference is now in conversation mode. All participants are now unmuted. The conference is now in question and answer mode. All participants are now muted. Press star 6 to unmute your line. Star 6 on your phone. That will uh, unmute your phone. And then when you're done, if you can hit star 6 to mute yourself again, that would be great. we got about five minutes for questions here. Hi, it's Louise with uh, Unified Communications. Uh, just hey, a quick question is, uh, I have a quick question. Uh, it's uh, basically, if, if I set myself available out of the office and something comes up that I can't answer the calls, is there any way to set up your, your status or your availability through your cell phone or not? If you have like an internet-enabled cell phone? Hello? Thank you. Luis, you're talking about Hello? integration into the cell phone and invisibility off of this? Yeah, basically, like, like let's say if I set it up before I leave the office that I'm available out of the office and uh, something comes up, I have to go over, see a client real quick or something, and I don't want anybody to call me. Is there any way to change my online availability uh, remotely from my mobile phone or anything like that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so logging into the system, you can use that Broadworks anywhere, and you can set up on the star codes or feature access codes. Uh, you can set up a do not disturb uh, by uh, pressing the star code. So with it, so wherever you are, if you can dial in to the system, you can control your phone from wherever you are. Um, or right, if you so want to hook up on your iPad or something, you can go into the system and turn on on and off features as well. All right, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, we had a question on the IM uh, chat about uh, different conference abilities. Uh, we do have a 100-person HD quality conference bridge available uh, as a separate feature. Um, Three-way call is going to be standard on both standard and premium feature sets on the hosted side. Uh, so you do have that ability. 
You can go to a 14-way conference by utilizing the Outlook toolbar. So that's going to be an add-on to the Outlook toolbar. You can also do a 14-way call off of that. That's going to be like a three-way call taken to 14. Uh, so it can become a little tedious once you get to that 13th and 14th person to add on as you do with a three-way call. Uh, so for larger conferences like the one that we're on today, we're using the Simple Signal Conference Bridge, and this will hold up to 100 people on it at any given time. And then we do have separate bridges if you want to have video. One-to-one -one video is included on all premium seats. So if you have a video phone, if you have an iPad 2, if you have a video phone on your computer, you can use video today one-to-one -one off of the current seat you're talking on. You can also, if you want to do a three-way, four-way, five-way person video call, kind of like the Brady Bunch squares, you'll have that on your phone by using our video bridge. And we have two different varieties, a five-person and a ten-person video bridge. We also had a question about the uh, level of login. Um, so when I was going through the different portals back then, um, I went through it in, from a system level. Um, however, every single company will be given a user PIN or a user ID for every single user if that's the way you want it set up. So every individual can see their own individual phone from their own individual based login and password. And then all companies will have an admin, which will be able to see from the company level down. So all group features, all company features, and then that admin can also log into a specific user and go down the tree. So if a user goes on vacation and doesn't switch their phone off or doesn't forward their phone to a coworker, the user administrator can go in and control a specific user, alter a specific user uh, if they happen to you know, need that alteration from an admin perspective. So admin, and then they'll also see down to a specific user. Hey Jeff, I'm back. My phone, I didn't realize it was on mute. <laughs> oh, don't worry, it happens to the best of us. Do we have any other questions? I just uh, Jeff, I just shot you one from Pat. Yep, we just went over that one. That was great. Okay, great. So Lisa's got a, a question about call recording and virtual fax. So we have both of those products. Um, you know, call recording is great because we can set it to record any DID uh, on the system. And even if, uh, let's say you've got a sales team and they have their calls being forwarded to their uh, cell phone, as long as the call came through that original DID, we can record any calls that go to the cell phone also. And if we give you a full portal, we can do another demo on that for you, Lisa, if you'd like. And for, for everyone else, uh, it's a full portal. We can get all sorts of great reports and call cues and who's on the phone, who's not, all those good things. And then virtual facts, we've got both one-way as well as two-way uh, virtual fax products, both available, both, both very easy to use. On the inbound, calls get, or faxes get PDFs and sent to the email address of record the customer gives us. On the outbound, we allow up to five users to fax uh, through the fax server. So you just uh, like take a PDF attachment, send it to our fax server via email, and then we deliver it um, to, the, to the end user. So we've got about one more minute here, guys. Any other questions at all? Looks like we do. Lisa, are all features of per seat or on different plans? So we could put together solutions for your client's need, needs are. So um, every, we look at every single client individually and come up with a unique solution. So um, we have different features with our seats. There's a dial tone, there's a standard and a premium. We'll send out the list of what those features are with each of the seats and then you can bolt on any of these other services that you want. Hope that answered your question. So guys, coming up, um, 
Well, I want to talk about some things that we're we're doing coming up here. And if you're going to be be in this for channel partners, March 27th, 29th. No, no. Uh, we're going to be at Comp T in Chicago. Next webinar is going to be ne uh, next uh, the first Tuesday of April, April 3rd, and we're going to talk about how do we integrate a mobile user into the organization. We have some very unique ways of doing that. So with that being said, I will uh, let everyone do some fun, close some business, and please, uh, if you guys need any help at all, uh, you know, getting us on the phone with clients or helping close up those deals, please do so. Uh, we'd be happy to help. I want to thank you all very much uh, for being with us today, and we'll talk to you real soon. Thanks. Bye. The host has ended this call. Goodbye.